Joining us in the studio now is a jazz musician, a symphonic composer, a conductor, and one of the stars of tonight's special, David Amram. David, it's a special to have it's a pleasure to have you here Robbie, on this special night. It's a treat to be here with you and celebrate the music of our modern music master, Thelonious Monk, and our indigenous art form called jazz. Well, David, in the special, you talked about how you met Thelonious Monk. Do you have any other special memories that you'd like to share with us? Actually, it was 30 years ago, 1957, in the springtime, I was with Thelonious Monk and Elmo Hope in Central Park after a beautiful all-night jam session. I was doing the rowing and the listening, and Thelonious was talking about how he felt this music was something that everybody in the world could contribute to. He was certainly one of the cornerstones of the newest movement in the music, but every culture Every person, every nation has something to contribute to this ever-changing art of jazz. And we began to talk about the relationship of jazz and symphony music and the fact that his music was already symphonic. And now in the process, 30 years later, of orchestrating some of his music for symphony concerts we're going to be doing for the Thelonious Monk Foundation, it made me realize that his music really is needed by the world of the symphony even more than we ever would have imagined. His music was symphonic in nature. He was a master. Well, thank you, David, for your comments. We'll talk more with David later. Now Donna has some special news for special viewers. That's right, Rhonda. 